What reasons other than the baby's gender can cause the baby to be positioned on the right side? Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we're going to discuss a truly fascinating topic, namely the various reasons that could lead to a baby being positioned on the right side in the womb, apart from the baby's gender. Does baby's positioning indicate its gender? Firstly, let's address the common myth. There is no scientific evidence that supports the belief that a baby's position in the womb is related to its gender. While old wives' tales may claim otherwise, medical professionals agree that the baby's gender does not influence its position in the womb. What really determines baby's position? So, what factors could possibly determine a baby's position in the womb? 1. The mother's anatomy. The shape and size of the mother's uterus, the location of the placenta, and even the amount of amniotic fluid can influence the baby's position. 2. Number of previous pregnancies. Women who have had previous pregnancies may find that their uterus has more space, allowing the baby more room to move around and potentially change position more frequently. 3. The baby's growth and development. As the baby grows and develops in the womb, it will often change position, and the most common final position is head down, vertex position. This usually happens between 32 and 36 weeks of gestation. 4. Multiple pregnancies. In the case of twins or multiple pregnancies, there is less space available, and babies may be found in various positions in the womb. Is the baby's position important? You might be wondering, does the baby's position matter? The position of the baby can indeed be crucial, especially during labor. The baby's position can affect how the mother carries and can also impact the ease and safety of delivery. However, babies move frequently and even in late pregnancy, there is still a chance for the baby to change position. If a baby is in a less common position, such as breech, medical professionals may use a variety of techniques to try to turn the baby or may recommend a cesarean section. In conclusion, the positioning of a baby in the womb is a dynamic and complex process influenced by many factors other than the baby's gender. This includes the mother's anatomy, the baby's growth, and the number of previous pregnancies. We hope this video has cleared some misconceptions and helped you understand better what influences a baby's position in the womb. As always, if you have questions or concerns about your pregnancy, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional. Thanks for watching.